Okay, people, welcome to Pelenka. We just arrived in Adipi. As you can see, we just here, we just arrived at the entrance and we're about to see some, you know, meet some of our own kind of people and things and eat some good food, you know. Don't forget guys, I just want life, so comment, like, subscribe and share. Palenque was definitely a highlight of our trip. I was one of those folks that had no idea there were so many black people in Colombia in general, and Palenque was just a gem. Drums were everywhere we went in Palenque. It was always a vibe, you know, drums playing, people singing. The vibe was just very festive everywhere we went. Um, such a joy to see the people and the joy, especially the young people and how they embraced their culture. It was amazing. Upon entering the town of Palenque, we were so surprised to see a cemetery at the entrance, but this was on purpose according to our guide because they believed that the ancestors would protect the community from any evil coming in. And so it was intentionally placed at the beginning of the community. <laughs> this is our guide telling us about how the Colombian people of African descent lived back in the day. It's almost similar to um, Jamaica in our history. Pretty interesting. Some of the activities, such as this pounding of the rice, you know, are things that are happens in other cultures as well. Um, and this hairstyle on the wall that's shown here actually served as a map for routes, um, a form of communication among the residents. Speaking of communication, our guide um, took the time out to kind of explain some of these words that were on a mural on the wall. Um, so pretty much some of the native language of Pelenque, he pointed out to us the words and their meaning, which I thought was super interesting. Um, just how they were able to communicate with their own language, a mixture of, you know, their African language mixed in with Spanish. I thought this was awesome. Canatule is hungry. When you say, "Ia ten canatule," and hungry. New. It's an expression, for example, when you have a pain when you're so much. You know I had to get up and dance with my people. Um, this is a beautiful young couple right here. The gentleman that's playing the drums, that's the husband and that's his wife. Um, dancing so beautifully, we had to get up and enjoy ourselves and get into it a little bit. We had a blast. <laughs> and Mario's there enjoying himself as well. Um, but we just had such a good time with this group. It was awesome. Even their son, uh, members of the community got in on the action. It was just a wonderful time.
Italia. Mm -hmm. That one, for example. Before in Palenque, before we go to the doctor, we try our traditional meal. Okay. Fish like with fried bami and cane juice, and I tell you, <laughs> you know, well tough. You see me? <laughs> Them it's like it's, it, it, it's a jar, you know. Check out our spread, guys. It was, I can't put it any better than Mario did. It was to die for. So good. Our next stop was to meet Dr. Ambrosio Herrera who is the traditional herbalist and town doctor. Very proud, very knowledgeable, and very confident. He took the time out to show us so many different herbs uh, that were used traditionally by our ancestors. And he also let us know at the time that there were no COVID cases at all in Palenque. And these are all traditional medicine users which was very interesting and before we left he gave us a traditional blessing and he gave us a traditional drink which was awesome Guys, Palenque has a lot of hometown heroes. This guy right here is Antonio Cervantes, otherwise known as Kid Pambili, three-time welterweight champion born right here in Palenque. There are murals throughout Palenque of local artists and different people who have contributed to the culture. Um, just showing some love on the walls, the murals. And... Guys, this is us at the cultural center um, where they kind of taught us a little bit about how the voyage was, you know, how our ancestors got to Colombia, a little bit about their way of life. Um, very interesting. People, this is the man right here. This is Benko Spiojo. He is one of the slaves that escaped the port of uh, Cartagena with 10 others, and he founded what's known as the Basilio de Palenque. 
otherwise known as the town of the Maroons. So if you know anything about Jamaican history, you can make a connection here. So Palenque has a lot in common with Jamaica and its history. Hey guys, before we go, let me give you some tips on the whole trip to Palenque. Number one, get a tour guide if you can. It just makes it easier or make sure you negotiate a price with a driver before you leave. Next, leave early in the morning if possible so that way you can get a chance to enjoy some of the fruits and some of the views on your way to Palenque. I would also recommend bringing a small day bag with some sunscreen, maybe a little snack, and also some Colombian pesos so that way you can support the local artisans. There are a lot of arts and crafts and little trinkets that you can buy as souvenirs to take with you. Overall, guys, it is an awesome place. Go to Colombia, definitely visit Palenque. Check out our other videos on Cartagena and Medellin. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. One life.